Hi, here we are in Adobe Illustrator again. This short demo will help you out with your key assignment. Uh, so what I've done is, and what I'm trying to get across to you, is that you can easily sketch something, uh, you know, take a quick picture of it and then bring it into Illustrator or Photoshop or whatever, and then use that as a reference. It's great to be able to, you know, look at a piece of paper, and hold that in your hand or put it on your desktop and be able to then go in and work from there. But sometimes it's a little bit easier to get the general symmetry and scale from uh, something you've hand sketched or another reference point or, uh, from wherever you got that from. Uh, so I've started with uh, my document here. This is the key. Uh, I actually just took a cell phone pic. Really, really bad key. I think the key that is in your assignment packet is actually a little bit better drawn. I hope so. Uh, I just opened it in Adobe Illustrator. You can see how huge it is. This is my eight and a half by 11, but right now I don't really care what size it is. I can actually just click on this, hit uh, Command C to copy it, come over to here, paste it. And I already have this done. And then I actually just scaled it. Let me back up a bit. I'll do it again for you. I'll paste it, which is V. You can see it's huge. I'll zoom way out. Just Control minus, and I'll just hold this down. Hold the Shift key and the Alt key down to get it about right, and then I'll roll it over. And there I have it. So let me delete this one. Show you what I used for reference here. Zoom back in. So that's all I used. All right, so. Rather than taking this on a new layer, which I'd like to draw here, my actual artwork, and trying the pen tool and being all over the place unwieldy and could spend hours trying to get this right, uh, it's frequent to use rudimentary shapes to just start off a project and then combine them and have what you whatever you want. So I will take, uh, I have three circles, a line here and another line over there. And I think I'll go with that. Uh, so I'll do approximately here again it's perfect size is not the point of this exercise it's mostly to get you thinking in illustrator mode hold this down here shift key to keep my circles correct i'll say that's about right i'll do option drag or alt drag put this over to here put this one up here oh i forgot to hit the option key Control z option drag that should be about right. Uh, what I could have done actually would be better. Turn my rulers on, get a guide, and f get it right there into the center. And I can actually center this. So when I do it, it's the intersection of these two pieces. It's better to get things straight, although in this particular exercise, it's not mission critical. Let's turn those guides off. I will now draw a nice little rectangle. I'll start from here, come down to about here. Looks about right. All right, and I can either copy this and roll it, which would be option drag, roll it over, shift key, hold it down, squish this a bit, get it in the right spot almost. It's a little bit big. I think I'll drop it down here. Option drag down to here. So that both of these are a bit skinnier. I liked my other one better. Let's make this bigger delete that one. I want these to be the same time. Option drag down to here and then make this a little wider. All right, so that's great, but uh, if I use this for somewhere else, it's still a bunch of different pieces. So I'd like to make this one piece, so I will actually go through, make sure everything's locked, but the pieces that I need, I click over to here, grab all of it, get rid of my layers palette, move my pathfinder up here, and go into the shapes mode and then hit Unite. Uh, it used to be called Add. I think there's some digital references into uh, the shapes and uh, complex shapes. Uh, kind of a cheat sheet for you. But I just want to make this as one outline. It's one single shape. There it is. And I can see that I'm off, but uh, I'll worry about that later. All right. Uh, I'm here. Let's make see how this thing looks. Back to the Layers palette. Turn off the original. And there's a nice key. It's actually one piece. I can click on any of these elements here, move it to wherever my heart sees fit, but it's more correctly drawn that way. Also, I'd like to put a little hole in the middle here, and I think everybody's first inclination would be to go and find 
Alt Shift, give myself a little hole here to, and then change the black color in the fill over from up in here, change that to white and be ready to say, okay, done, because it does look correct. The problem is if I ever wanted to make, have a background of any sort in here, uh, you know, put this thing on a nice big cloud background back in Photoshop or use this in InDesign we'll be getting to later. Let's get a nice visual here change the stacking order of some things and you can see that it's not really through. so what i'd have to do then in this case and i'll temporarily use my visual tool here turn the eye off i don't want to actually delete it i want to check this again in a minute is to click on this piece shift click so now i have two objects selected go back into my pathfinder tool and do minus front all right, so remember, this is actually in front of the layers. You know, look at your layers like you did in Photoshop, but this is a kind of a series of clear panels in front of you here. And I will just do minus front, and now it is one object. It looks identical, but it's actually more correct because I can then see through it. And now we have what our shape would actually look like. Let's get rid of this. We can actually delete it. And that will suffice for your key assignment. Please do a little bit better job in this area, making it symmetrical. It should actually look a little bit more like this, but perfect.